right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. What is going on guys and thank you guys for tuning in for this review of Queen Sugar Season 3, Episode 3, Your Distant Destiny. So, um, and when this show starts out, um, Micah, he don't even know how to feel y'all to be going to a regular school to get to wear regular clothes and be his own self and not to wear them old tired ass uniforms and be sadidi and preppy and perfect and prime and all that kind of stuff so he's really excited about going to school i don't know who more excited than him or kiki because kiki got a man kiki's got a man at school so anyway they you know look cute at school or whatever but anyway let's get into nova and this book deal so, the whole book deal thing falls apart because the paper she was working for pulled the article said that um, don't approve the articles for Nova to use to write the book because Nova done quit. So, now that Nova done quit, she can't use the articles to write the book. So, now Nova has to come up with um, a new idea for this book. But the book company is so nice about it. They, you know, just waiting for her new proposal or whatever. Um, but she'll have to start from scratch. And I really think that it sucks that the paper did that to her because those were her articles that she worked hard on. Um, to try to hold her back like that was really just, you know, this just go to show you how dirty people are at these jobs and in the world, period. Because they will do something like this to you. They don't care. And it's just really sad. And it's it just really just disappointing. So, <clears throat> Raph Angel still working at that boat yard during the off season. And Dar uh, still blowing Darla off. Ain't talked to the girl yet about what happened. I guess he gonna quit, keep um, running them up with Blue and doing whatever he want to. Hollywood got his money. Like Valor said, it's burning a hole in his pocket. He got to spend it on every everything. He trying to buy her some red bottles. These is blood shoes. And he want her to be just perfect you know decked out at this class reunion and whatnot but i'm with her she turned down them red bottoms she want them to keep it real like they always been living don't let a little sediment go to your head plus they got to live off that money for a minute just chill out with the money you know i don't think it's nothing wrong with him investing as long as it's in something good and legitimate and he needs to double check before he does invest it but other than that i don't i don't see anything wrong with him investing it um she um did accept the ring that he gave her which i'm glad i was there for a minute was wondering if she was going to accept it or not because y'all know how she is she said just um say no but um Raph Angel still got this girl all up in the house and i knew we all knew at some point blue was gonna see this girl because all this doing it in the car in the kitchen and it don't matter what part of the house you in if he looking for his daddy he gonna see this the girl at some point now i think it's disrespectful of him doing that and he ain't even told the boy you got to give a child some explanation as to why his mama not there his mama just an up and disappeared and just another woman in the house in her place you have to know you cannot tell me that Ralph Angel was that naive and dumb not to know that that boy was going to be hurt or bothered in some kind of way. It's just it's just stupid to me. And, and my issue is he always on Darla about being perfect and what she got to do pertaining to Blue, this, that, and the other. But yet, you going to pull some stuff like this? You don't care about Blue feelings. You doing what you want to. But if it was Darla, you would be riding her butt all on her back about she can't date nobody and who she got around Blue and don't have this person and that person in front of his son and whatnot and what have you. But yet, you sitting up here with all these girls in front of him, you don't have no respect for him. So so that's that's kind of bothering me about this whole situation because he don't he ain't practicing what he preached and like I said before he always down in dollar like he he do no wrong and that's just really getting kind of old because at this point he got to see some fault in some of the stuff that he doing so anyway 
the next thing let's see what happened next um The situation with Ralph Angel hiring somebody to work there. The dude showed up late, dressed like he just rolled out of the bed. He didn't even care. He didn't even try to put on his best pair of blue jeans with his cleanest t-shirt. It had been, you know, you are just got out of jail. You want to try to make a first impression, but it's like he didn't even care to try to make a first impression or whatever. So now Ralph Angel thinking about not hiring him because Ralph Angel got a lot on the line right here. Like I told y'all in the last review, he barely got this off the ground himself. And to be babysitting somebody and risking it all for somebody that don't care is really hard. But I, you know, I think it's all going to work out. And I think he'll end up finding a few other people and or whatnot. But anyway, people keep telling Charlie... Oh, Ernest was such a good, honest man, and you um, remind us of him, and he'll be so proud of you, and it's really weighing on her. Would he really be proud of her? And I I think she regretting her decision to sell this meal um, to get this 1% share in Landry so she can try to get this company out from under her. If y'all don't understand what Charlie is doing, basically what Charlie is trying to do is... She got this 1% of Landry. And what Charlie wants to do basically is get into this company, learn everything she, she does about the Landry's, how they tick, how they operate, so she can basically slide in there and kind of like get the company out from under them by probably getting all the shares and whatnot. So she'll end up with Queen Sugar and the Landry's company and and the being the biggest shareholder is what I think she's up to. But she's not thinking about how, number one, how long is this going to take? Because by the time she get this in order, they're going to know what she's doing because people going to find out that she done show, sold Queen Sugar to them. However, she has made things better for them, for them to get more money with the deal that she did cut. So the people are, even though they with Queen Sugar, because it's working out. If all the people go back to Queen Sugar, then when she gets Queen Sugar back, she will have all the people. So right now, the plan is working. But I think something is going to go blow the plan up. And I'm going to tell you what that something is. So y'all need to watch this video to the end because in here in a minute, I'm going to tell y'all what I think that something is that's going to blow this plan out of the water. That may be an issue. But anyway, Ralph Angel um, let it slip to Nova while they, they was at the high yellow that what Charlie did and now Nova's finna be off on one of her rants about rights and justice and things not doing right. I don't agree exactly with Charlie's decision. And I don't know if it's the best plan because the Landry's are old to the game and they always there's always a catch twenty two with them and I think it's gonna be a catch twenty two with them and Charlie's contract. And I think that's one of the things that's going to make it fold out from under her. But people math too big. And sometimes I feel like Nova may run her math too much. But anyway, um, Michael gets to school and he's really liking it, whatever. But Michael wants to hang around with this group of kids that took a kneel at the basketball game. These kids turning out, they turning out to be the men. Now, these kids have good intentions, but I don't agree with how these kids going to be about th going going about things. They're going about things kind of the wrong way because they really not, they, I'll explain in a minute, but let me get to this part. I don't think Kiki likes this group of kids that they hanging around with because these kids are not any of Kiki's friends. And I think they're going to end up being a problem. Because they kind of like some little troublemakers. Just like the security guard asked the boy to sit down. Because they're not supposed to sit on the tables. And just he, instead of him getting off the table and sitting down like he's supposed to and respecting the cafeteria rules, he going to turn around and square up with the, the security office trying to make it be a beef. This is what's wrong with the with the movement right here. You can't do wrong when there's you can't make an issue when it's not an issue and then yo know, black lives matter he did me wrong if you're not doing right in a situation and you egging on a situation and you instigating a situation when the situation fires off you can't holler innocent 
innocent would have been if he got off the table and then proceeded to sit down and then the, then security continued to mess with him and harass him that's black lives matters that would have been a continued issue that that would have been a problem but to in instigate an issue that's a problem for me i don't like to see people try to start stuff with security or police and he's a police officer monitoring, monitoring the school and you trying to get it popping with him that's not how you handle things and that's not somebody michael need to be with this your first time at public school this is not the type of people that you need to be with that's my opinion some of y'all won't agree with it some of y'all won't like it some people like that people want to get up in the cop face and get it popping off and in their mind they say i can get in his face and say whatever as long as i don't touch him he don't have the right to touch me but that's not what the law says because there are some laws pertaining to cops as far as how you treat him and talk to him so you know your laws before you get to popping off and doing stuff but anyway um so in true form as always nova gets to family dinner and she throw out there what charlie did because she likes charlie to be wrong in front of everybody she don't never address charlie one-on-one -on -one. she gotta get in front of everybody and do this whole gang up thing and that's what she did everybody's now mad at charlie about the whole selling the meal situation they don't agree with it like i said i don't agree with it but now even her own son ain't talking to her because everybody feels like she's a traitor i still don't personally think she should have so queen sugar and she was crazy to do it but charlie is right the business was gonna tank if she didn't because I, the landry's um threatened all the farmers and they took all their business away and with no business there cannot be no meal she done invested all this money and there was no um, sugar, no cane coming in to make sugar in order to keep the meal running, operating, going, or to get her investment back or make good on her investment. So she did what she had to do. Now, they don't understand the business side of things, but it is what it is. She did what she had to do. Now, Nova need to take that into consideration. And she and Charlie told her that, but they don't care about none of that. And see, Charlie footed a lot of her money, Davis's money, the loans in his name, all, this, all they care about is what she did. And now I think they need to take that in consideration. Like I said, we don't agree with it, but who paying for it? They not, they can't help her pay for it. You know? So anyway, um, they get to the class reunion and everything is going good and Hollywood, old uh, loud mouth uh, fast behind X Charmaine comes shashaying in all up in their face and she gonna speak to everybody but Violet okay I wanted Hollywood to put her in her face in her place right then and be like this my fiance Violet but no nah, they got to give us some drama look I don't need no drama you don't have to draw it out for me, honey. Don't you don't have to get my blood pressure up, get me stressed up, weight all up and down. My hair I already got no hair, but a little bit I got don't need to be falling out. Have me yelling at the TV and screaming and going on. Um. Anyway, they carry on and keep talking. She gonna come back to the table later and gonna say, "I know where I know you from. I think we met before, um, at the school one day. You Hollywood mama, bitch. She woo." Let me tell you. But that's okay. Because then he did finally get her together. Because she had me heated. But um, when he said. When she's like. Oh that's my song Hollywood. Come on. That's how you remember that's our song. Come on let's dance. And he was like. No nah, I'm good. My fiance Violet. Uh, this my dance partner for life. <laughs> what you got to say about that? Miss. Charmaine. <laughs> That's what you get. And then when Violet went out there and shimmied on that dog on floor, broke it down. Uh, 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 uh. And she did that little two step. I was like, yeah! <laughs> Girl, that's what I'm saying. And she was just like, you gotta get these thought trots together quick okay 
but he got it together. But y'all, I was so worried that she was gonna pass out. I was like, no, you done, you done showed out. You wearing that dress? She done worked it. Please don't let her pass out, Lord. Please let her be all right. Whew. When they came back and she was sitting by that pool, honey, I was like, Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Because I wanted her, I didn't want that girl to see her in her weakest moment. I didn't want that girl to see her sick, child. I couldn't take it, child. No, 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 no. But they, they say, because the, if they would have tried to embarrass her, honey, I would have called the writers and went slap smooth off and wrote and told them to go to hell. Because they, they knew better. But anyway. They didn't have to get cussed out. <laughs> so, Micah and, Micah and the little rascals out up in the city on the back streets and we're riding the four-wheeler. And I'm I'm just waiting for the cops to show up to get this popping and watch Micah be the first one to get arrested. Him and Poe Kiki. If they was with Kiki friends, they wouldn't be in trouble. So, uh, we'll see. But I am glad one of the little rascals uh, spoke up and told that little badass boy he said look i can't get picked up no more i can't be getting in trouble so we gotta do it in such a such yeah it always needs to be one in the group that got sense enough to speak up everybody can't be no follow you gotta have common sense sometimes i'm glad somebody told uh a little troublemaker i don't can't remember the little boy name that he needed to follow back but anyway now mike over at nova house and nova ain't the best uh role model either if he was gonna stay with anybody he'd have done better to stay over there at uh well he couldn't go to a vi because they had a reunion they might get the freak on he might as well went back home with his mama because i don't care how mad you are if you my damn child and you ain't 18 i say bring your ass home you going home that boy too spoiled for me but anyway so he they talking about what his mama did and he gave Nova the idea to write about the situation with the farmers because before then she had no idea what she was going to do but he gave her the idea to do that to use her platform to tell about the situation uh, with the farmers now this is where we get into I believe this is what's going to mess up Charlie's deal. I think Nova is going to get into writing this book about the farmers. And I think the Landers is going to fall on a copy of... I don't know if it's going to be like the copy... Uh, before, you know, the book is released. But they're going to get their hands on the copy. They're going to find out what Charlie's trying to do. And it's going to be Nova fault. And um, they're going to know. And it's going to blow up in her face. So, I hope Nova writing this book and getting this stuff started that the Landers don't come across either her notes or find out through Nova that's what they gonna do. Because I do feel like that Nova may accidentally sabotage her sister, not intentionally, but that she is. But, I'm glad Nova did find an idea for her book or whatnot. So, we'll see. I'm glad that, um, I think Micah did go home. He did go on home and he did. So I'm, I'm sorry. Micah did go on home and he did talk, talk to Charlie. And he, he did basically tell her he don't approve of it. But he trusts her. And that's good. Even Ralph Angel trusts her. And Michael said he trusted Ralph Angel. Ain't been trusting her because Charlie ain't been making the best decisions. But she ain't necessarily made bad decisions. So, you know, the fact that... Um, Everybody, why, why I think everything's going to mess up because for the first time ever, the first time all these seasons, they trust her. And that's why I think it's going to fall because the one time they're going to put a, uh, they put, they trust in her. I think that this is when it's going to fall and be an issue. I really do. But anyway. Ralph Angel did call the guy back and tell him it was hard work. Even though he didn't know nothing about farming. It was hard work. Uh, wasn't going to be no shortcuts to uh, get money or whatever. And he had to show up on, on time. But he wanted to give him a shot. You know, he would have to jump in there and work and learn what to do. But, you know, he told him about the uh, white flies and the harvest or whatever. And, um, you know, tell him it would be honest money, but it, it just, if he was willing to do it. So, Ralph Angel going to give him a try. Y'all, then that doggone dollar showed up. Let me tell you something. 
I don't care how mad Ralph Angel is, is at Darla. He want that dog on Darla. He can try to look at her like he mad, but in reality, his eyes said he wanted to go jump her dog on bones. So he can play mad all he want to. What I think going to happen is he going to either wait to Darla uh is with somebody else and he gonna be up in her doggone face when she accepted and move on or either Darla gonna try to take blue and go on about her business or something and he gonna try to get Darla back but when he by the time he do decide he wanna make up with Darla the rebound chick gonna be pregnant and then that's gonna be an issue but we gonna see so that's all of this review I will see y'all again Wednesday nights for Queen Sugar. And y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments below. That y'all think the turnout going to be with Darla and Ralph Angel. Do y'all think Micah hanging out with the little rascals is a good idea? Leave it in the comments below.